welcome back to the Black Axe Ranch here. So it is, well, it's Saturday. And uh, it's also the first day of deer season. So we got a few hunters to the south and over to the west there. So kind of keeping an eye on that because, uh, well, hunters and we got bison. And uh, well, we're just always a little bit concerned this time of year. Honestly, some people aren't very good hunters, not very safe either. A lot of them don't practice, uh, you know, safe gun handling or, you know, things like that. We're just always careful. Um, plus, we got to be a little bit careful now going out into the woods, pretty much to the point where you got to have some kind of orange on you, even just going out on your own property, because, well, you just never know. So I used to hunt. I don't really anymore. Pretty much got to the age where, uh, you know, actually shooting something is more of a nuisance than uh, than actual fun. Honestly, I'd rather see the deer walking around than uh, sitting there hunting them. I'm not slamming hunters, I'm not slamming that at all. I just have a different life right now. And, uh, you know, we gotta watch our bison and take care of them. It's kind of like driving, you know, they say, well, I'm a safe driver. Well, you can be as safe as you want, but it's always the other guy that you gotta watch out for. And uh, in this case here, that's that's the case. We can practice and preach safe gun handling and safe hunting and everything else, but truth of the matter is, it's the other guy you gotta worry about. Hey guys, if you like our videos, hit that little subscribe button down below. It shows your support and helps motivate us to make more videos. Anyway, so we're just kind of checking out the bison here, seeing what's going on. Um, it's kind of cold out here today. You know, 35, 36 degrees, I think, is what it is. A um, little bit of frost this morning, which is almost all gone now, so you'd never even know we had the frost. It's it's getting chilly. It's getting cold out. That means we got to prep these bison for that. They're already getting their winter coats on. We can already tell their metabolism has slowed down a little bit. They're not eating as much. That's, that's normal for bison. It's one of their... Uh, Preservative methods, whatever you want to call it, biological thing, it's an evolutionary thing. It helps them to adapt to these cold climates. How are you guys doing, huh? Hey buddy, how are you, huh? How are you, bud? Kim and Bree were already out here feeding them, so... They're pretty content right now. Hey Empress, how are you? Sapphire. Ruby. Ruby. Man, he's getting big. Look at the size of this guy. You're going to be a big boy, aren't you, huh? Yeah, you're going to be a big boy. Hey, buddy. How are you, huh? So I got myself one little project here to do today. You know, we did put this PVC pipe in, uh, kind of make a little funnel basically for the water because without being able to use the hose in the winter because it would freeze up, uh, you know, we had to come up with a different way. And it's basically the same thing that we had last year, but uh, because we have the different water tank and a little bit of a difference in how we got it situated. So I had to shorten this up because they were knocking this piece off and I found it floating around in their water. So I just chopped off a little bit off the end here and we're going to go secure that in with some screws so they can't knock it off anymore. Here you can see what I was talking about. We put that little funnel on there. Also we're going to change out their water today. I think we can get one more day use of the hose. I'm kind of glad I didn't put it away yet but you can see that water there looks pretty nasty. So we got to Dump that out, empty it out, and uh, refill it. And then we'll put in the rest of the piece for the funnel there, and then we'll have a way to give them water through the winter. Honestly, there's nothing really high tech about how we empty this out. <laughs> we just pretty much use the bucket and uh, scoop it out by hand, which of course I'm gonna have to put the camera down, but uh, that's all we do. We're gonna empty this out and refill it and give them some clean water. And that's cold on the hands. 
Yeah, see, this is what happens. I try to do a little bit of work. They got to come and see what I'm doing. And look at this. Really, guys? Seriously? I don't worry about these guys. Or gals, I should say. Sorry, ladies. This is the guy you got to just kind of keep an eye out for. How are you, buddy? Uh huh? Oh, yeah. Look at that, buddy. Huh? Good big boy. Yeah. Big boy. Look at that mop, huh? Yeah. Ah, cold will make my nose run. Ah, so if you hear sniffing and snorting, half the time it's a bison, the other half the time it's me. Yeah, no, you're all hanging around over here, right where I need to work. Oh, I see a fire. How are you? Uh, oh. It's never too cold for scratches, is it? Yeah. And you got Tootsie Roll over there. Yeah, you guys are right where I need to work, huh? Right where I need to work. Just checking me out too. Trying to look at Troublemaker over there. Lifting up the feed bin again. Yeah, I see you. Yeah, he's blown in my ear. Blown in my ear, buddy. Yeah, we all see you. Camera hog, huh? Camera, yeah, camera hog. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we see you. You're right in the way. Yep. We see you. Uh, I wonder uh, why our feed bin is so beat up. Uh, am I not paying attention to you? Yeah, look at that mop. Give you a haircut, buddy. Yeah, right. <laughs> I see you, yeah. Oh, you're gonna be big, but yeah, I still pet you. I still got to pet you, yeah. Yeah, I'm still here. Yeah. Oh, you got to splash me too. What did I ever do to you, huh? You know, if you just let me pet you, you'd have all the scratches in the world you want. Right? 
Yeah. Not gonna do it, huh? Truth is, these guys just ate, but, you know, if you listen to them, you'd think they've been starving for over a week. So, you know, don't believe them. They just ate. I don't care what they say. Don't listen to them. Yeah, I said that. Yeah. In case you're wondering what that clicking in the background is, it's our electric fence charger. Takes a licking and keeps on ticking or, you know, something like that. Make up your own story, but anyway, that's what's making all the noise in the background here. Well, I don't think they're going to quite let me go in there now. I'll have to distract them with some more food later, but it's a little early to feed them, so we'll give it a little bit of time. <laughs> Maybe let it warm up out here a little bit, but uh, we'll be back.